When I can't find anything to do at home, I like to come here. There's always something going on at the professor's. Come along now. Mustn't go. <laughs> what did I tell you? A little cooperation, please. We've a lot of work to do. Professor, are you all right? Oh, nothing broken. Ooh, merely misaligned. Y you'd better lie down for a while. Oh, I'm afraid I haven't time to get comfortable. I have too much to do. <gasps> that fiendish ram demolished my herd of cycle 90. I'm sure you can fix it, Professor. I think. Yes, yes, I'll just add it to the top of my list of things to do. Oh, it's a well-known scientific fact that the amount of work one has to do will increase as the time available to do it in decreases. You weren't kidding when you said you have a lot to do. It all started when Mrs. Pug happened to mention she couldn't find the time to get her knitting done. Being in a helpful frame of mind, I promised to invent her a machine that would knit two socks at once. This is a knitting machine? Oh, no. You see, when I asked Granny Goat to spin a supply of yarn for the knitting machine, I discovered she was behind with her spinning. So I promised her a new high-speed automatic spinning wheel. Oh, it spins full. Not exactly, but you're getting warmer, so to speak. This is the prototype for a steam-powered automatic sheep shearer. Let me guess. Farmer Brown was a little behind with his wool shearing. Right you are, Rupert. Most insightful. But I'm afraid all of my plans are at a standstill until I can gain the cooperation of this stubborn flock of sheep. I've wasted my entire morning chasing those uncooperative ungulates around the meadow. Hmm. I have an idea, Professor. Let's try pulling the wool over their eyes. <laughs> an amusing metaphor, given the circumstances. Go on, my boy. <laughs> it's a professor in sheep's clothing. <laughs> right you are, my boy. Quite literally. Your suggestion to take advantage of the sheep's natural instinct to follow the leader is nothing short of brilliant. It's working! However, I do feel lucky to be in one piece. I wish I could say the same for your machine. Sorry, Professor. Not to worry, Rupert. Your quick thinking quite literally saved my skin. Although I can't say the same for my best trousers. Oh, it appears I'll have to miss supper again today. I'm sure Farmer Brown and the others will give you more time, Professor. More time? Hmm. Yes. More time? Now, why didn't I think of it before? That's it! Aha! A brilliant suggestion, Rupert! Think of the possibilities! What did I say? Hmm. I see everyone. 
everyone is still wearing their wounds. Nothing's being touched. Perhaps the professor is still in bed. Good morning, Rupert! Huh? What's happening? Sorry, my boy, no time to chat. While I was making repairs, I came upon a grand idea, but I have to slip into the village for a few parts. <laughs> Got all the way there and I realized I forgot my wallet. Back in the flash, so to speak. See? Instead of bringing the sheep to the shearing machine, why not take the shearing machine to the sheep? <laughs> Professor, you were here and then you went to the village and back twice? Indeed, and all in two shakes of a lamb's tail, to coin an appropriate phrase. But how? <laughs> it's all thanks to my latest invention. I call it the Whiz Watch. Now I can get any job done in a fraction of the time. Think of the possibilities! With a whiz watch in every pocket, people will get their entire week's work done by Monday morning and have the rest of the week to relax. How does it work? Marvelously, my boy. Quite marvelously, if I do say so myself. Let's test it on the mobile sheep shearing machine. Just attach it near the engine. How should I... No! <laughs> There's quite a strong magnet inside. I'll say... Press the start button, Rupert. Put the kettle on the boil, my boy. I'll have the entire flock clipped before tea time. Oh dear, this is too fast. Ah! Watch that racket. dry land, Rupert. I'm terribly sorry, Constable. It was most foolhardy to put my whiz watch to such a use. Whiz what? Whiz watch. My latest time-saving invention. This thing is a watch? And you drive it like a motor car? No, Constable Gray.